Hey Virgo, this is Soul. Virgo, this is going to be your 2017 general yearly forecast. Also, this is going to be for Virgo Moon and Virgo Rising, the messages that come forth. So I would advise you to look at the other videos if you know your rising and your moon signs. This is something that uh, I'm presenting as a gift to you. I don't know if this is something that I'm going to continue with uh, after it's all said and done. Um, but we'll see. I don't know how it's going to come across, but I hope that it's beneficial and it's helpful to you. Uh, in Leo's video, I did mention uh, for them to pay particular attention to the cards that are showing up in the reverse. Those are the months. I feel that um, may be the most impactful for you. Well, all, the, all of the months, but when they show up in the reverse, it may be something that you need to pay attention to and be more focused on. So what I've decided to do, Virgo, to uh, perform this reading for you is I use 22 major arcanas from this particular deck that I am using and did a hard shuffle concentrating on your energies for the year 2017 and then selecting 12 years to represent each month of the year. Uh, to see what comes out. So I'm going to try to draw the messages out the best that I can, highlighting the most important things that are coming to me that you should know, and then um, going from there. So like I said before, this is something new that I'm just trying to do, so I hope it's beneficial and helpful to you. But anyway, uh, before we begin the uh, reading and the messages for you, Virgo, I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a happy 2017. Okay, so some of you starting off in the month of January 2017, you have the temperance card in the reverse. So some of you, I don't know, may be feeling a little bit out of balance. It could be due to the holidays. Uh, the temperance represents uh, balance and creativity. So it might be that some of you are starting the month off feeling like you're out of balance because of all the... Um, at least one of the things that I'm getting is due to the holidays. You know, the holidays may be winding down and it's thrown you off balance because you had to deal with family, friends, uh, possible, um, you know, trips to family and friends or family and friends coming to see you. And then it's sort of like the balance disrupted your daily lifestyle. So that's what I'm getting, number one, off the bat. Also, too, it could be that Virgo's uh, in the month of January, feel like they're thwarted when it comes to their creativity because this represents creativity as well. Um, but all is not bad. It's just that energy that I'm picking up just in the month of January. And it might be just that the entire month, um, you have to just deal with it the best that you can until we move into the next month, which is February. Uh, and you have the strength card in the upright position. So, February marks the time for some Virgos feeling like they're uh, empowered, ferocious. Now, normally the strength card represents Leo the Lion, but they have a tiger here. And I know this is a tiger uh, on this card, but it doesn't matter because whether it's a tiger or a Leo, the energy of this uh, the card is about you being powerful, ferocious, Um Strong. Anything that is thrown your way that creeps up, crops up for you, you will overcome and endure it. There's uh, a f you're like a force to be reckoned with here with this strength card showing up. It's a card of passion as well. And because it lands on um, February, there is the whole aspects of uh, there's a possible connection that I'm feeling. Uh, if it's not occurring with someone, some of you right now that you're in relationships with fire signs, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, male or female. But there could be a connection in or around or leading up to Valentine's Day uh, where some of you are going to have. Um, well, this is outside of the fact that there is a connection that I'm seeing that could be with a fire sign. It could be with any zodiac sign. But I feel that. Around Valentine's Day, the strength card comes in as a very passionate card because some of you are going to find that the month in itself 
um, especially on Valentine's Day, is going to be very passionate and intense when it comes to lovemaking, when it comes to, um, you know, children. If Virgos have children and it could be fire signs, it's just very intense, but it's intensity in a good way, not a bad way. Very passionate. Um, like I said before, Virgo, uh, February seems for the most part, for some of you, it's a, you know, a, you're forced to be reckoned with. You're very powerful. You feel, you feel very strong. This is your energy. And I also feel that there is a connection. Definitely, I'm picking up a connection uh, possibly being made or started in the month of February with a fire sign. Valentine's Day is very important for a lot of you that I'm reading for. And I say it's important because there's good things that I'm seeing centered around that day with the strength card coming in. OK, so we have some of you thrown off balance because of the holidays winding down. Nothing to really worry about and be too concerned about. It will be restored when uh, February rolls around. And then the next card up, February, March, we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Wheel of Fortune is in the reverse now. Like I said before, pay attention to the cards that are showing up in the reverse as it may be something or, you know, something that you need to be focused on um, in terms of the energy for that month. Wheel of Fortune, though, it's a 10, so it's a clearing of energies. But I don't see the Wheel of Fortune as being, um, you know, a negative card of energy. Now, of course, in the upright, it's all about fortune. Uh, this could be financial. This could be some sort of uh you know, fortunate thing happening to you. This is also in the reverse, an indication that there's for some of you that I'm reading for an ending of misfortune. And keep in mind, the wheel continuously turns. So there could be an ending. If you had been met with some sort of misfortune in the past, whatever that is, because this is a general and you have to apply that information to whatever is close personal or significant for you, then the month of March may be an ending to that misfortune that you had to deal with from the past. OK, just keep in mind that the wheel continuously spins and wherever you land. Um could indicate a fortune or a misfortune with it in the ver reverse. I'm seeing for the month of March, some of you are putting an end or an end is coming to some misfortune from the past. OK, uh, also. What else am I getting about this wheel of fortune? I'm getting the feel that some of you may in the month of March may not feel this may be just a mental thing, feel like you're lucky. But I'm going to associate that with um, possibly my Virgo gamblers when it comes to um, gambling. So. Pay attention to the, you know, for the month of March, where if you are somebody who's a responsible gambler, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be a good time for you to go out there and gamble because you might be met with some sort of misfortune when it comes to that. Do not play any, you know, major lotteries in the month of March. Because you may come across as, uh, and it may just be the energy here of not feeling so lucky. But I'm only getting the gambling aspect. I'm not getting any, I'm not getting the other aspect of not feeling lucky when it comes to love. It's not hitting me, at least not yet anyway. But it's to do with uh, gambling. And always when you gamble, be responsible. Uh, if there's a problem of gambling, you know, there's, you know, help for you. So do not go out there. And this is also a card of not taking any risk. 
That's what I'm saying. Any risk in the month of March. So it's not only financial, but pay attention, Virgos, in the month of March, not to take any substantial risk when it comes to your finances and other things that are important to you, because there could be some sort of loss associated with this wheel of fortune in the reverse. That's just for those Virgos that I'm reading for. But I feel and I will still stay with what I said earlier is that this is also a, a month of misfortune coming to an end for some of you from things that have occurred in the past. All right. March, April, April. Now we have the death card in the reverse. So this death card is really never, never a negative card of energy, whether it's in the reverse or in the upright for me. Of course, you know, the upright position represents uh, shedding the old to allow new. It's like, you know, not physical death, but just getting rid of something that no longer resonates with you uh, for your highest purpose or your good and then allowing new energy to come your way. But because it's in the reverse and it's in the month of April, there is um, for some of you that I'm reading for a reluctance to release something that needs to be let go. Now, this does not necessarily have to be indicative of a relationship. It could be a, a friendship. Um, you can't really release and let go of any, you know, bloodlines, family members or anything like that. You, you can, but I'm just saying it's not like a, a romantic or intimate relationship or a friendship. The family is still your family. Blood is always going to be thicker than water. It also could be that we're moving into spring, April. So it could be that there's a reluctance to release when it comes to spring cleaning, something that you need to get rid of out of that house or your apartment and you're hesitant and don't want to get rid of it. Uh, but this energy is saying that you need to let it go uh, because there's, it's no longer useful for you. Now, whether that's a relationship for the ones that I'm reading for, then so be it. Then you have to let go of something or a relationship that's not serving your highest uh, purpose or your good. But it could be something as simple as having to um, do an inventory of your home, your your trail or wherever you live and get rid of shit that you don't need anymore. Physical stuff, material, if it's, you know, old clothes, um, you know, books and stuff, donate them to the library, donate the clothes to the, you know, the Goodwill or the Salvation Army. Things that you don't need in your life in the month of April. This card is in the reverse. So, again, I'm saying to you. Virgo, like I said to you, for the will of fortune, pay attention to March and April when it comes to having to uh, let something go that no longer serves your highest purpose or your good. And that could be material things as well. Now, obviously, when we get to May, some of you will have achieved this death card energy because now we have the moon card and that's a phase. So that means that you've you're working on getting rid of a phase prior and now a new phase is about to begin for some of you. The moon card is in the upright. It also is a card that represents Pisces. So it could be that um, because we have the wolf and the dog here, that's representative of two people for me. So I'm feeling that there could be Virgos in relationships with uh, water signs, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces, male or female. One phase ends with the death card. I like the fact that it sits next to the death card. So that's an ending of one phase and then a new phase begins. Also, with the moon card showing up in the month of May, pay particular attention to um, if there are secrets uh, surrounding you. Uh, and people that are close to you, this could be the month that those things are revealed. OK, this is a card of revelations and uh, secrets. Either Virgo, you're holding secrets about someone that you know of or someone knows something about you. And it may be revealed in the month of May. OK, also in the month of May, I feel that some of you are going to be concerned about your your reputations because that's what the moon rep represents too. not only phases. It also could represent some of you dealing with uh, a bout of minor or major depression in the upright and the excuse me. And the reverse is usually overcoming minor bouts with depression, uh, major or minor. OK, in the upright 
it's part of the phase or that you may go through or something that happens. Uh, I don't see anything tragically. I'm just saying that there could be um, something that brings on some sort of minor or major depression for some of you. But it's just a phase. It's not something that's going to stick with you. All right. And it may be just having to deal with the death uh, card being uh, in the reverse and that energy. And like I said, you move from one phase to another phase. Uh, but it's all positive. Now, moving out to the uh, future here. Um, we did uh, May, June. Now we have June here. The magician's in the reverse. So some of you may feel like you, uh, you know, the things that you, the goals that you set for yourself, you don't have enough uh, of those elements to manifest, to bring it to you or towards you. I say that the magician is still a good card of energy, whether it's in the reverse or in the upright. But the flip side of that is I always see the magician as an actual person. So it could be that in the month of June for some of you, someone close to you um, or someone that you know, this could be a lover, this could be a friend, this could be a co-worker, this could be somebody in the family where their mask drops or falls off this is the magician in the reverse okay the mass slips and this is also associated when i pick up this card in this energy with you know narcissism social uh pathic energies individuals coming across as being self-centered selfish they don't really care how uh what they do affects you so it could be that Someone may have been, um, you know, falsely in your life for a period of time. And then June, that's when that mask slips off. So, like I said before, this could be a lover. This could be, and ironically, I'm going to jump ahead because the lover sits underneath, which is your final card in December. And the mere fact that the lover's card showed up at all in your reading is the, uh, and it's in December, it doesn't matter. It could be that there is a connection made the entire 12 month cycle. Okay. The lovers is in the upright, but I'm just focusing on the fact that it sits underneath the magician and where June could be the month where someone that you've, um, thought was a different person. Then their true colors are revealed in the month of June. So in the reverse, pay attention to those months where the cards the arcanas are showing up in the reverse. That's the focus. The entire year is the focus, but when they show up in the reverse, that's the month that you need to pay attention to. Okay. Someone's mask falls off. You don't have enough of what you think. Um, you don't have enough of what you think may prepare you in terms of your goals for some of you that I'm reading for in June, but you do. It's just a matter of, working things out um, and then believing that whatever it is that you want to bring to yourself manifest to bring to yourself you have it okay you just may be feeling that way in the month of June um, but I feel that the energy and what I'm being drawn to sh say is that there's a lot of people that you may be uh, for the Virgos um, that you know true colors are revealed in the month of June people around you family members friendships uh, intimate romantic partnerships uh, people that you work with this could be bosses this could be managers um, someone makes you think differently of them because this mass comes off Okay. July, we have the hangman. So there's this whole month of energy of suspense. Okay. You have to look at it this way. It's a whole month of July where things, and when I say suspense, don't get me wrong, Virgo, it doesn't necessarily mean negative. Okay. I think I have to say that more often because some people just take the words that I say and just, you know, create their own shit. But there's an air of suspension about something that's important to you in the month of July. There's a uh, some sort of perception 
altered perception because this is what this card represents uh, and it may be related or attached to a situation it could be just you know that not knowing and it may be followed directly by the energy of the magician where the mask falls off and there's some sort of suspension because you don't know uh, how things are going to turn out if this energy of the magician is a lover, a friend, a co-worker, uh, somebody in the family. Month of July brings in that suspense where you may feel, may or may not feel that you're sitting on the fence. And there's just this whole element of suspense about a situation that's going to be close and personal to you. OK, that's all I'm going to say about that. Next up is the full card. Now, the fool is showing up in the reverse and this is in the month of August. So we're starting to uh, head into your birthday month now, uh, Virgo. And this is like having some sort of hesitancy and taking that leap forward. Or taking that, having the faith to take that leap forward into whatever the unknown um, that you want to venture out. Maybe there's some sort of hesitancy for those Virgos that I'm reading for to, you know, start up a business or, you know, it could be related to um, possibly moving um, or your job moves you or having to make a decision about a job that moves you somewhere else. There's some sort of hesitancy. The only thing that I'm going to say about this being in the reverse is that it's really it's involved with your own mental um, you're gelling yourself here when it comes to this full card in the reverse. Have that faith and plunge forward and let the universe work in accordance to whatever it is that you want to manifest for yourself. And remember the full card shows up in the reverse just like the uh, you know the magician shows up here in the reverse where I said that some of you may be going in here feeling like you don't have enough of the elements here to manifest those things that you want and it all could be just a mental um, that you're mentally restricting yourself and believing that well you do have those things okay and once you start believing that you do then all these you know the full card would flip and so will the magician and then it's also moving into um the next month which is your birthday month is to have the faith that everything is going to work out well for you this is the higher font but it says faith on this card and you do have what it takes to move forward and get those things that you want to bring to your life the higher farm represents uh, Taurus, uh, but it also represents you too, Virgo, and then Capricorn, male or female. So there's a lot of teaching and learning in the month of your birthday month in August. And then also too, uh, Virgo teaches and Virgo is taught. Okay, there could be Virgos who are actual teachers, and this is related to uh seminars or teaching classes or something like that this is a card of uh, marriage as well so they could be in the month of uh, September that some of you get married in your birthday month this is a card of spiritual protection and this is also a card of you know some of you may be uh, delving deeper into spirituality so a whole lot of messages coming through with this card. This is a card of partnership as well. Not just the lover's card is uh, indicative of partnerships because it is marriage that I'm picking up here. So this is a card of partnership. So that may go into the uh, drawing me back to February where I see connections being made um, for those singles who are looking to connect. Now, it may be fire, maybe it could be any zodiac sign. It could be earth. It could be water. It could be uh, air. So you're spiritually protected. Someone's going into deeper spirituality uh, in terms of teaching and learning. Virgo teaches. Virgo is taught. There's possible marriages, uh, connection and partnerships in the month of September, your birthday month. Okay. October. Now we have the world card which is good and it's in the upright so now whatever it is that you were thinking that you didn't have before with the uh, magician and then not taking that leap of faith here in um 
August Virgo now in October you have all the elements see this world card and I love the depiction on this card where they represent fire water air and earth and that's saying being the fact that it's in the upright position Virgo you have everything you need to move forward this is a card of opportunities it's like the world is at your feet this is in October so there's a lot of opportunities coming Virgo's ways now the opportunities doesn't necessarily have to be limited or restricted to one particular thing this is a general reading so the opportunities could come into business could come into relationships can come into any kind of adventure or venture that you put your mind to and you want to bring and manifest and bring into your life okay opportunities are abound you have everything and then the fact that the world card sits next to the faith card have the faith to move forward to know that you have everything in order to achieve what it is that you want okay and then the universe will work with you virgo and and manifesting those things okay november and just think of the world card as a revolving things are always revolving and changing so it's not like you know you're you know going in a complete circle no you have everything you have everything you need to achieve and bring into your life virgo in the month of october justice card is in the reverse so now this is where in november okay we're going back here to january where i said that you were thrown off balance a little bit because of the winding down of holidays and you know the expectations of uh, family members and friends and uh, the things that you thought that you needed to do for others and whatever it was that threw you off balance okay so winding down now it's still as we're moving into the next holiday season november then you're thrown off balance again so it's all about trying to do those things that you were thrown off balance from before and then we we come to january and you know it's sort of like an ending okay so it still may be even though this is not in the upright position it's still thrown off balance a little bit that's the start of the holiday season again in november for some of you okay so just make sure that you're not allowing your energy to be drained by others unnecessarily also this could be the completion of uh for some of you divorces uh with justice being served your way or ending to a legal battle uh outside of divorce it could be that you had a court case and the court case is over normally the uh justice card in the upright indicates that it would be in your favor but it also could be that it wouldn't you know if there wasn't any legal actions or court cases that you had to endure in 2017 it wasn't in your favor doesn't necessarily mean that it wasn't it just means that this is a completion of whatever legal stuff that you had prior to the month of november and it's done it's going to be over with okay uh, just thrown off balance a little bit. This energy could be directly related to air, Libra in particularly, and it also could be Gemini and uh, Aquarius, male or female. There may have been some sort of legal separations or divorces um, with the air signs that I had just mentioned. Okay. Finding yourself in November going off balance a little bit because I think the holidays are approaching and it's just going to stir you right back up to where you were prior to uh, the energy of January 2017, December 2016, November 2016. Off balance a little bit because you're trying to prepare for the holidays um, and get ready for the holidays and and. You just don't feel grounded or you may not feel grounded as you would like to be. But with all said and done with this justice card showing up, Virgo, in the reverse, all is not bad because you get your shit together because the the lovers is the last card, December 2017. So this is all about partnerships. And then the month of uh, December in particularly where you are seeing eye to eye with, um, you know, your lover, 
um, friendships, things going well. There's harmony in the family. Um, this is indicative of business partnerships. This, uh, as I stated before, even though it shows up at the tail end of your reading for the year, the lover show, uh, card showing up at all is an indicative indication that there could be a connection made at any time during this year, 12 month cycle. OK, and I feel strongly some of these connections are going to be made in uh, February with the uh, strength card coming in. Um, for those who are already in established relationships, we'll see Gemini represents the, uh, I'm sorry, lovers represents Gemini. So it could be the air signs again that you, uh, connect with. It could be any Zodiac sign, but there's harmony, magnetic, uh, attraction, chemistry, being on the same page with one another, just getting along well with others that are close to you. And it's really good to have that in the month of December because the holidays could be so damn hectic uh, and trying to uh, get things organized and, and see this is what throws you out of balance. But you may feel that way as the holiday season starts and then you're harmonized in December where you're getting along with everybody. OK, and the ones who are already established here, this could be a deeper bond uh, taking place something about the holidays that normally uh, puts people in a festive mood uh, and it's a shame that we can't feel that way the, the rest of the 12 months or the 11 months but um, the holiday season always seems to make people feel some type of way uh, positive in a, in a sense but there's um, for you Virgo there's this whole connection of um being with others and then just getting along well with others. Um, friendships develops. Um, the lover's card shows up here for your reading that friendships, new friendships could be developing in the course of the 2017 um, year for you. OK, also, it could be. Now, I'm not getting news of a pregnancy here, but I don't know why I'm being shown or being thrown that someone. Um. Maybe it's because it's in February that there's pregnancy associated with that month where all I see, you know, where I see all this passion and sexual stuff going on centered around Valentine's Day. So don't be su too surprised. Someone, the female Virgos that I'm reading for turn up pregnant. OK. All right. So this is your reading. And I hope that I tried my best to bring out the mess, the highlighted uh, messages for you uh, for you to know and to look forward to and again pay attention to the reverse cards here in the spread uh, and this is just a general reading so like I said anyway uh, Virgo I appreciate you thank you so much for your support uh, my subscribers uh, followers um, it really means a lot to me anyway wishing you all a very safe happy new year Merry Christmas as well until I talk to you again, I'm sending out a lot of love and a lot of light. Take care, Virgo. Bye.